Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos. This wasn't supposed to be an adventure. It was only supposed to be me going to the Watts house to pay my condolences. I am up to date with what was going on with the whole situation, and I wanted to visit the house and drop off a teddy bear that I had purchased. Um, however, I did decide to bring my live stream with me for Patreon, and something completely unexpected happened upon recording. I did bring a night vision camera, but however, when I did use my thermal imaging camera, I caught something that was very unexpected uh, on the second floor window. I want you guys to actually stay through this video to the very end, because at the end of the video, I went back to location. I used a high definition camera to record the events that I seen on the live stream, so you'll be able to see it a lot more clear at the end of the video. Upon arriving to the location, this is what happened on the live stream. Unraveling the intricate web of lies that made up Chris Watts' secret life, offering clues as to why he murdered his pregnant wife, Shanann, and their two young daughters. Shanann's devastated parents, Sandra and Frank Rusek, speaking out for the first time since their daughter's murder. I told the police to find his GPS because his GPS is going to tell them where my family is. From the outside, the Watts family seems perfect. In social media videos, Chris plays the part of a loving husband and doting father to Bella, four, and three-year-old Celeste, also known as Cece. My daddy is a hero. I am so excited. I'm driving with you. Hey, guys. We're here from the boat today. She was fun, full of life. She did so many things. She had her hand in everything. Love you guys. This is a little teddy bear here. I wanted to leave for my condolences. Oh, you guys want the Tam Cam too? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to dig for it because it's in there somewhere. Oh, this is actually gonna be pretty cool. I did not think about the night vision. Yeah, it is really gorgeous. Now, let's use a thermal imaging camera and seeing what we can see. This should actually be pretty interesting. Hold on, let me put the Tam Cam away for a second. That's the house through the thermal. This thing is awesome. Here, I'll walk towards the side of the place here. Yeah, I could zoom in on the night vision. I think I'm the only one. Ooh, that was weird. I don't know if that was me, but I think I saw... You know what's weird? Look at the front, the top window to the right. That one's the only one that it looks like there's something behind it. Right above the small garage door, the right window. What is that about? I'm going to take a picture of that. Now I'm hearing noises. All right, for a, you know what? I'm gonna switch to the night vision to see what's up with that window because that is odd. That is wild. What is, what is unnerving is that you don't see anything. Yeah, Tammy, thank you so much. Use the thermal one more time. Oh, wait, look at the front window there to the right on the window. Not the window, the one to the door. It looks like a face. Right next to the three stickers on the door on the right-hand side.
It looks like a face. Right next to the three stickers on the door, on the right-hand side. This wouldn't be the first time something unexplained happened at this location. There's even been unexplained things that have happened with police body cameras such as these videos. There's plenty of first in the field. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What in the world is that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Go in there and step on that little blue and see if that's where that noise came from. Yeah, it sounded like a kid it, toy. <laughs> it might. It sort of sounds like it. Something. There was a... I heard it. That one. Did you hear it? I did. It sounded like a kid giggling or something, didn't it? Or a kid... It did. Where did that come from? Because all he did was go straight in there. Days after that incident, there was another incident where on CCTV camera, a woman was seen entering the home of the Watts house. However, she never left after she went in. Police were called to the scene to investigate any intruders that were inside the house. However, no one was evident. And this is some footage of that situation. Frederick Police Department, anybody in the house? Frederick Police Department, anybody in the house? Make yourself known. Frederick Police Department, anybody in the house? Are you kidding? There's a heat signature on the window. Like if something's behind the window. Or in front of it. Just watching there. Look at that. I am literally getting a heat signature right in front of that window. Like someone's standing there. Now it's more than ever. I've never seen it so clear before. I'm gonna, look at that. There is a legit, what is up with that? No, I know Tom, but I, I won't, I, I, I have nothing to hide. I'm not doing anything wrong. Look at that, look at the window, look at the window. Yeah, you're right. I'm waiting for it to clear there, bam. Oh my God, that is insane. All right, so right now, this video footage is only just so I could get a high definition footage. Um, I'm gonna be recording with a different camera on my thermal imaging, because uh, unfortunately I can't take the videos off of it. So, this is just to show you that both windows are open. That's the window that I was seeing weird movement from. I don't know if you guys could see anything. 
at this point now, I don't see anything. But when I switch on the night, the thermal imaging, all that might change. And apparently these two rooms, what I just read online, was the two little girls' rooms. What looks to be something peering out from the second floor window. I'm looking through all the other rooms. Let's look down. See if I could lower the intensity here. There we go. And there is something standing onto the second floor room here. Oh, it just moved. Look, it looks like a head and something holding its hand on the window. What the hell is that? Again, I'm only doing this so that way you guys could have... Oh, it just moved. A clear, high quality video so you can see better than on a live stream. I did leave a teddy bear here only because I was kind of up to date with what was going on and this is such a sad story but on the live stream someone asked me about you look look I just got movement again someone asked me if I could use a thermal imaging camera and so I did Now, I, I, I'm going to switch, I'm going to go ahead and switch the imaging into a different image to see what it looks like on a thermal imaging instead of uh, this color. Give me one second. Alright, so now I switched it to fully infrared and what was weird about this one is that I want to see if I can still see it, but on the front door, it looks like somebody was staring at me. Let's look at the top floor there. As you can see, that looks like the warmest window, and there it is. looks I'm gonna keep as still as I can what the hell is that what is that does that look like someone with their head in their hand holding against the window look and it, now it's changing there it goes oh it moved What the hell am I seeing? Again, this is coming straight from an infrared perspective. Look, it looks like somebody else just came in on the far left. Oh, my arm is getting tired.
Look. That is so creepy. It looks... I'm not even going to tell you what it looks like. You guys... You, I'll, let, I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but oh my god. Alright, so right now I am back on night vision. Again, you don't see anything on the top window. In fact, you could see something there. But I don't know if that's just a glare of whatever's there. This was not supposed to be even a video, it was just a place that I came to visit. However, what I saw on the thermal I thought would be interesting to show you guys. Um, I did came here to, to drop off a bear. And I actually put the bear over here because it's like a little memorial here. there as you can see that looks like the warmest window and there it is it looks I'm gonna keep as still as I can what is that does that look like someone with their head in their hand holding against the window look and it, now it's changing Oh, it moved. Oh, it moved. What the hell am I seeing? Again, this is coming straight from an infrared perspective. Look, it looks like somebody else just came in on the far left. <laughs> 